While this global pandemic is a mere inconvenience to some of us, it can be a true crisis to others who are less fortunate. Acts of kindness and generosity are always helpful, but during an uncertain time, they become a welcome escape. With the help of countless employees, organizations, and volunteers, Realities for Children was able to put a smile on the faces of over 250 children, providing them food, books, stuffed animals, bubbles, and more. Lauren Domingo. I'm volunteering with Realities for Children. I started volunteering with Realities a little over a year ago when I wanted to just get involved in the community and help children in our community. So I'm, I'm very uh, appreciative that I get to help every month. But this is an opportunity to come perform and make people feel good and you know, this Definitely. is what I can do to give back. I have the time, why not do it? The reason why we are here out today is uh, for the kids help bring smiles to their faces and help hopefully brighten their day, especially right now. It's cool to get a little break of it all. So why am I here at the event for Realities for Children? They are an absolutely amazing nonprofit. They are an agency that helps the agency I work for, which is Project Self-Sufficiency. So we all have to support each other to make the community better and to help families and children thrive. It's really nice to be out here and to be doing this, playing characters for children. Especially after being cooped up for several months, it's really nice to be able to do this. Especially here we go. What shined through to me during this fair was the power of positivity. With so much chaos going on around us and with no clear finish line, it can be easy to get sucked into negative thinking. What I saw at this event was the power of a smile, a wave, a friendly conversation. I saw hundreds of smiles, not only from the children, but also from the families, the employees, the volunteers. Kindness is contagious. This was a great reminder of that.